basically that we must not be colorblind in our policies. And we must not be colorblind in how we distribute this money. Because if we are colorblind, then these systems of racism, these systems of oppression will continue to perpetuate. So we have to deal with this head on in every single discussion that we have about the dollars that we are spending. And our mission statement is uh, to provide an evergreen source of capital to high growth businesses, to promote entrepreneurship, foster innovation, creating jobs and economic benefit for Anchorage. Our goal is to strengthen Alaska's risk capital and entrepreneurial ecosystem, and then assist early stage and disadvantaged businesses. Um, I have a couple of questions. Are you're the organization that is going to be passing out um, or doling out funds with the Cook Inlet lending? Is that accurate for the artist grants? Yes, we are in process with that. Do you know anybody in the administration or on the assembly before approaching us? Mm, I would say I work. I mean, I work. I have had not not a lot of contact with folks on the assembly. I've had. Um, when I first took over, I've had, uh, you know, Kai was looping us in on the conversation, so I was aware from that aspect. I do work closely with everyone in the administration. We're certainly not a siloed department. Thank you. I understand who handles it. It's going to be Cook Inlet. I was just trying to find out the bottom line is what I'm hearing back is no, we didn't open it up for anybody else to apply to do this contract. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and move us on. Uh, please continue with the presentation, Erin. We, okay, March hit. We didn't know our heads were spinning a little bit. We didn't know what to do. We had, you know, this, this three point, you know, $5 million of funds that we would have loved to have deployed very quickly, but because it is a federal grant program, there's a number of encumbrances and on that, those dollars. So we decided to, on de-obligate a million of those dollars, build a direct co-investment fund. Oh, Folks that we invest in still have to um, still have to meet those federal requirements. Um, and half of this fund is carved out to create the building equity co-investment fund. So this pri prioritizes applications as well as technical assistance for Black, Indigenous, and people of color owned businesses. And we must not be colorblind in how we distribute this money.